I have not. I have not. I have not endorsed. I'm focusing on the Senate. Thank you. Uh, Leader McConnell and Senate Republicans are simply missing in action. America is facing one of the most challenging moments in our history. Where is the sense of urgency from Senate Republicans? Where are the Senate Republicans? Continues to ask us to uh, 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 go with them on. The access we are demanding that Leader McConnell bring to the floor the COVID-4 bill and a racial justice and the racial justice bill, justice for policing in America before July 4th, both bills. Republicans continue to sit on their hands. They're silent about these crises. Where are they? Where are they? I'm glad to join my colleagues. No, this is mine. <laughs> we have to hang on to our own masks. President Trump this morning tweeted horrible comments about Mr. Gugino, the man who was pushed over in Buffalo. Republicans have been ducking and dodging about this. Leader McConnell was asked about it. He didn't say anything. When a 75-year-old man is pushed to the floor and he's bleeding, and Donald Trump blames the victim and comes up with a conspiracy theory probably put out by the Russians about who this man is, that's a disgrace. They can't even speak out on that. House and Senate Democrats came together yesterday to unveil a sweeping reforms to our nation's police department. The Justice in Policing Act addresses the key areas of accountability, transparency, and police practices. The bill puts new restrictions on police behavior, bans chokeholds, mandates body cameras, and curtails the transfer of surplus military equipment to police departments. The bill would also make it easier to hold officers who break the rules and violate citizens' rights accountable. We need accountability to the many abuses that have been allowed to persist unchecked in our police departments.